organism that is struggling, which is the state standard, the right. water is the it's state the standard, right. they have to reproduce at 100% levels. Right. My question is, does that does that concern you enough, or should they be required to come to that? Well, condition? I mean, you're, you're looking at a person that's going to abide by the law. Yeah. So if there is an issue for these, uh, and I think you're saying water, please, if there's an issue for them, then, you know, is it because they can't grow within this environment. Factually, for me, I have, I don't know what the water flea is, but you can bet by the end of tonight, I'm gonna know what the water flea is, okay? So, as a person who knows nothing about them, if you put them in a test environment, and you put a 100 of them in there, and that 100 does not spawn to 100%, meaning all of them spawn, then it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that eventually the numbers will keep going lower and lower and lower till now they are not sustainable and they're all gonna die off. Then if they die off, what are they contributing to the well-being of the water? It's best instead of us trying to actually make a fix in the water, we need to make a fix at what is causing the problem. Will it go away in 10 years, 15, 20 years? Don't know. Will it completely reverse itself? We don't know. But this is where we're at, and this is where we used to be. So are you with us to find a way to get us back up here? And, and the other thing is, if there's 500 people that are working for this company, you know, I, I would look at that if it's that important to you, to you and I to make this place clean and back to where it was, and obviously if we make it back there, it's going to bring much more value than the value that's here now. Then those 500 people that have a livelihood, then it's up to us if it's that important. We got to figure a way to either get them employed or we have to pay them. To me, we always seem like only a few people hear about what's going on. And those are the ones that are really laser focused on it. And they just can't disseminate enough to get it to the vast majority because I think if the vast majority got out there, I think you would see a lot more more movement to make the government of the state of Florida to stop what they're doing. It is coming down to economics. Everything comes down to economics. We all have to survive. Unfortunately, most of us are not self-sufficient. We we require that business to function, to do all the things that they do to provide us everything we have. But unfortunately, sometimes their methods are not good for the environment that we it's live in. It's a trade-off for the politicians. Sure, right? sure. And, and that's what you're seeing, and it's going to continue that way until you change the law that says you get no waivers. You know, every, every two years, you have to reduce production by 25% by 25%, and then after four years, if you ain't solved the problem, guess what? You can't produce anything anymore because you've, you've had to cut your production back. I mean, there, there are ways to, to make them, but it's just, that's all it is anymore.